Welcome to the Caribbean Vegan Foodie. Today I'll be making a Trinbegonian pelo. Yes! But before we get into the video, remember to like, share, subscribe, and tell a friend. Let's go! Begonian pelo is a mix of rice, veggie, and meat. But today we're making a vegan version, and this one here is gonna be as tasty as the original. Here is what you will need pigeon peas, brown rice, carrot, celery, mushroom, onion, coconut milk, scallion, aka green onion, thyme, garlic ginger, bell pepper, parsley, salt, browning sauce, veggie bouillon, water, and some optional pepper of your choice. Check the description box down below for a full listing of the ingredients and measurement. So we're going to start out by adding our onions to some oil and you can use some water if you want to go oil free and then you want to add your carrot and celery and your mushroom and saute for a bit. After sauteing for a couple minutes, you're going to need to add your browning. I'm using about a tablespoon of browning and I'm using the Grace Browning Sauce. And I'll be putting a recipe of how to make your own homemade browning sauce in the description box, so please check that out. So after getting your brown in to incorporate with all your veggies in your pot, you want to add in your bell pepper and your pigeon peas and get that going sauteing for a little bit. Doesn't that look beautiful? Mm, you should smell this. It smells so amazing. Letting my veggie and my peas cook on medium high heat for a couple minutes to get those veggies have all cooking nice and then I'm adding the rest of my ingredients. I'm adding in my ginger, my grated ginger, my salt, and I'm using a little garlic powder because I was out of fresh garlic. And I'm getting that all nice and incorporated. And remember to taste, taste, taste. I cannot emphasize how important it is to taste while you cook so that you can adjust your seasoning. If it need more salt, you can add more salt or whatever it need. So remember to taste, taste, and taste. So next we're going to add our thyme and our scallion, aka green onion, and our pepper. I'm using scotch bunny pepper, but you can use whatever pepper you prefer. If you like black pepper, cayenne pepper, red pepper flakes, it's up to you. I love scotch bunny pepper, that's why I use so much of it, and I also don't eat black pepper. Now it's time to add your coconut milk. Mm, I love coconut milk. And that's gonna get it the extra nice flavor that you want. A tropical flavor actually. You know, we us in the Caribbean, we love our coconut. We use a lot of coconut milk in our cuisine. And then we're gonna add our veggie table bouillon. Yes, I'm using one. And this is an amazing brand that I'm using. It's gluten-free, vegan, MSG-free. It is amazing, it's all even salt free, so then you can control the amount of salt that you put in your um, dish. 
Next, we're going to add our rice. I'm using brown rice that I've already washed. That is an important step to wash your rice. And I also soak my rice overnight because I soak all the grains that I use so that it's easier for your body to digest it. So yes, my rice was already soaked. And next I'm going to add the remaining ingredients or water and our parsley. And the parsley adds some extra flavor to it. Yep. Before covering your pot, you want to bring your rice to a boil. So let it boil for a couple minutes before you cover it. It's time to cover your pot. So I don't have any cover to fit this pot. So I'm using foil paper for now so you can improvise. Um, or you can just use, use a pot that have a cover. This pot doesn't come with a cover, so um, I'm just using foil paper. So after covering your pot, turn your heat to very low and simmer for about 30 minutes. And you can check periodically to ensure that your rice doesn't dry out and burn. There you have it! A Trin Bagonian Vegan Pelo! Yes! This dish is so good. I'm telling you, I'm not gonna lie to you. This dish was amazing. Even my noon vegan friend had it and it was amazed at how good it was. You have to try it. And remember, I'm putting the ingredient list in the description box down below. So please check that out. And you know what? Typically, Trinbagonian, they like to eat their pelo with some cucumber salad or some coleslaw. So please just add that to the side and have it. That could be your Sunday dinner, your midweek dinner. It's an amazing one pot. So please try this recipe and tell me what you think down below. And tell me what else you want me to make. What other Caribbean dish do you want me to transform into a nice vegan version? Thank you all for watching the Caribbean vegan foodie. Yes! Remember to like, tell a friend, subscribe, and comment down below and tell me what you think. Until next time, what good?